All right, what's going on guys? So yet another modification video. This time on the Cold Steel Norse Hawk, which I'm not quite sure is in fact a genuine Cold Steel product. I'll show you why in a minute. But uh, before I do that, just I feel like a broken record. Um, let me just go ahead and show the handle here real quick that it originally came on. Just uh, as was the case with all of these uh, hawks, the the uh, heads were just they were machined on there like too hard. It's just it's obviously it was obviously done by a machine and not by hand, for lack of a better terms. Or maybe it was done by hands, but just by heavy hands. I, I really don't know what was going on here. Handles were beyond repair. So I obviously swapped it out for a 30-inch handle. I know before you guys ask me, well, why didn't you just get the uh, the regular 30-inch um, uh, Viking axe the reason for that was believe it or not run into the same problem and I really didn't I wasn't feeling the shape of that axe at that that little flat bottom just out of I can't explain it just it kind of irked me uh, and the new version that came out doesn't come with a sheath so I'm sorry I kind of got a little si sidetracked there partied a little too hard on New Year's Eve if you catch my drift <laughs> but anyhow Handle was swapped out for 30 inch handle. It was stained with Thompson's water seal, stain and sealer. Hold on a second here, let me pull this up. The head was stripped with citrus strip stripping gel. Now the reason that I'm wondering if this is a real true cold steel product to begin with is right off the bat I noticed it was a little strange that uh, I mean, it had the sticker. It's even got, man, I thought that this was going to come off when I stripped it, but it even had the same Taiwan stamp on it. But even though you can't tell from the video, the uh, the weight of the head is just off right here. There was no paint uh, where you see that it's a little shinier than uh, than the rest of the of the uh, the axe head uh, the weight is uh, not quite what it should be and the way that the paint was on here I guess I should have taken some uh, some pictures first it's just okay the rest of the axe heads uh, excuse me the rest of the cold steel hawks you know nice uh, nice uh, glossy dark black finish real solid this was almost like a the finish was almost like a matte gray. It just it was it wasn't it wasn't uh, it did not resemble the finish on the other hawks at all. And like I said, there was pretty much no paint on here, which just kind of made me wonder. It's like, you know, is is this really a cold steel product? But I have been told by uh, people who work for cold steel directly that it is. But apparently, for this particular hawk, they used uh, I guess a different metal. Hold on a second. I'm going to just reach back here real quick. You'll see why in a second. This is just for comparison. I mean, look at this head. And that's uh, that's the Cold Steel Warhammer. This is the finish that I got on the rest of my Hawks, with this one being the exception to that. You can obviously two separate metals. But... A second here. I want to get this as close as possible. As you can see, the uh, Taiwan stamp is identical. So maybe uh, maybe Cold Steel was right. Maybe it is in fact a uh, an actual Cold Steel product. I just like I said that that was just kind of strange to me. So um, yeah. hello, Mallory. She's such a diva. She always wants to be in my videos. Let me just put this back here real quick. Hold on a second. 
so yeah i really like the longer handle like i said it's a it's a more compact version of the already existing models for because uh, cold steel has two already they had the first one that came out with kind of the uh, the bottom of the beard was a little flattened out that bugged me i think the new one has a six inch blade this one is only four inches like i said i uh, i like these compact light wieldy i don't like them to have too much weight on them but uh, yeah um overall you know i i like this i guess the the finish i guess i can make work i mean it kind of gives it a more you know it looks even more rustic than the rest of them it really does look like it was just you know picked up from a you know, like an excavation site where like a Viking battle took place, I guess, you know, just, of course I could do without that. I actually, I feel like an idiot. I actually put like a couple more coats on uh, this area right here of the citrus strip because I, I thought that that could take it off, but I guess it's not going anywhere. But, um, it's no big deal. I'm, I'm satisfied with what I did overall. And uh, hopefully you all liked this video. Pretty much all I got to say about that. So uh, peace out. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Something that I should have, and it was right in front of me. Something I should have pointed out. This sheath right here. Uh, all the other sheaths for Cold Steel's Hawks. You know, on and off with relative ease. This one, not so much so you, uh, you kind of have to force it a little bit on there. It's... Uh, you have to almost break it in. I don't know. That was another thing that made me wonder if this was an actual Cold Steel product or not. You know, that's that's the only uh, hawk I have that this happens with. I can't even... Uh... See, I can't... I, I can't do it one hand. You see, any if I have any of the other hawks, I would be able to put it on, take it off with relative ease with just one hand. With this one, it's... Yeah, you kind of have to... Well, I can't do it with just one hand, but... Uh, yeah, that was another thing. Uh, I know that a lot of people don't really care too much for the set screw, but... At least in this case removing i tried to not do the set screw at first with this one but uh, removing this uh sheath is putting it on taking it off it's actually so tedious that if you don't use the set screw it could actually wiggle the axe head loose that's uh definitely worth mentioning sorry about that um so let me get this off here real quick Hold on a second, I'm just going to put this down for a second. All right, so, yeah, overall, you know, I like what I did. The, the modifications, I know, not really elaborate or anything like that, but it's my first time doing it. Maybe somewhere down the line I'll purchase, uh, you know, other Hawks exclusively to modify um, you know, for cosmetic purposes, wall hangers, whatever you want to call them. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's really all I got to say about that. So, uh, peace out for now, fellas.